You know, this is all anybody can talk about in Pikesville, and it's for all the wrong reasons. An audio clip with what some say sounds like the principal of Pikesville High School launching into a racist and anti-Semitic tirade. But there is some speculation about the clip itself. WMER 2 News Jack Watson has been looking into the story for us tonight. So Jack, do we even know, is this audio clip even real? Well, Kelly, that's what the school district and others are trying to figure out tonight. We haven't been able to authenticate it either. I spoke with some Pikesville High School parents tonight, and they say the audio is shocking. And there's also growing chatter that the clip could have been generated using artificial intelligence. I was literally speechless. And it's like Michelle Davis Adams heard that audio clip on Wednesday from her two sophomores at Pikesville High School. My daughter had the clip and she played it for me. And I said, what is that principal? I, and she said, yes, mommy. The audio, which we've chosen not to broadcast, contains racist and anti-Semitic comments, allegedly from the voice of high school principal Eric Eiswert. It's prompting a school investigation. Baltimore County Superintendent Dr. Miriam Rogers said in part, quote, although BCPS cannot confirm the veracity of this recording at this time, we are taking this matter seriously and have launched an investigation. Once we have determined the facts, we will swiftly address the incident. And there are still several more facts we're waiting on. WMAR is unable to verify the authenticity of the audio, and there's speculation in the community here that the clip itself was AI generated, created by a computer to sound exactly like the principal. UMBC cybersecurity professor Rick Forno says AI generated clips are on the rise. And with AI now a part of our society, we should pause and let experts determine whether this is. So what we have to do is take a deep breath and um, stop and think and do some due diligence. You know, let the experts look at this recording and see, is this uh, a real recording? Was this generated by some, some type of techno technical tool? Whether the clip is real or not, hearing such offensive words circulating in this community hurts. I was really praying, in fact, that this was not accurate and that this is not true. Rabbi Rachel Sabbath has a freshman who goes to the high school. If it's true, obviously he needs to be dismissed and replaced immediately. I also think it's an opportunity for the Baltimore County Public Schools to do a lot more training of all of their teachers, principals, leaders, everybody involved about what it means to speak about a certain population. Parents tell me this is a very close-knit community. All who talk to me are hopeful that the clip and the horrible things said within it are not real. I'm very prayerful that it's not accurate because I'm concerned for the staff the faculty, the students, the community, as well as him and his family. If it is the truth, he needs to be removed immediately. There you We've also reached out to the union representing the principal and the principal himself. We did not hear back tonight. We should also note that in our state, you need someone's permission to record them on the phone or in a conversation, Kelly.